Hi, my name is Hunter Coleman, and thank you for checking out this competitive analysis of League of Legends. We're going to be looking at their camera system, their movement system, as well as a little bit of their vision system. Particularly, I'm focusing on the camera, but we need some additional things to work on as well. It does have a standard real-time strategy camera for the most part. You'll notice that you can move by looking at any of the corners and only as the mouse approaches the edge. There isn't a progressive moving where it moves slower as you get closer down here and then speeds up. It's all just one speed. The mouse can zoom in or out on the character to get better view. It is tilted at about a 75 degree angle. There are options to both hold down spacebar to keep a camera centered on your person or to press Y and toggle that on and off. There are some settings that allow players to change this. There is a mouse speed, which changes how quick the cursor is, the, mo or the camera move speed, and I also forgot there's actually one more way to move the map. Well, there's two, because you can actually use the mini-map and do this. All of this is pretty standard, obviously. Uh, one setting I would like is if they had a little bit more movement there. So, moving on to movement, we will look at the fact that when you move, the player moves to it through obstacles, so there is some pathing work that they've done here to make it so the character, as long as nothing comes up in its way, will go to this. It will even... Uh, attack a minion from across the map. You can also click on the mini map to tell a player where to go and they will walk to that location. Players move at a set speed determined by their movement speed which can be altered throughout the game. And a test here, it takes about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seconds to go from one side of the map to the other as just the camera at default speed. Last, I just want to go over briefly how vision works. Characters can only see what is near them and they cannot see through brushes, which is really cool because if you're on this side, of this brush, you would think you might be able to see over on this and just not inside of it, but they've actually made it so your character has to be in the bush to see on the other side of the bush as if he was, like you would look at, too short to see over them. And that is consistent across all characters. Thank you for watching this and have a great day.